What is money in the world? Money as it exists now is in fact the constitution of man. It is the image and likeness of man. It is the image and likeness of God. Money is the way people judge each other, the way people enslave each other. It is manifested in segments or currencies or frequen frequenti frequ frequencies, so to speak, of various different currencies with different values compared to each other. It is the complete manifestation of how the mind functions, of how heaven functioned. Um, and it establishes the now. It is the energy within which the present moment of the human functions. It is the energy which determines which direction the present moment will, be t will take. It is the energy which determines what choices will be made. It is the energy that determines who will be in power. It is the energy that determines who will live and die. It is for all practical purposes the God of man. And that is why money is the tool within which one can actually bring about a permanent change in the world because money itself is the one unifying force in this world without which no one can exist although each one is existing within a dimensional reality of money which has been accepted by everyone so that if you are in one country your money has certain value compared to another country and yet money is not in fact the original resource of this world money is what has been agreed to be the unifying resource uh, which is something within which one can quantify labor and resource and product and produce in an acceptable universal language uh, which became the trade, the economic system of the world. Now, the agreement within an, which money exists is changing in every moment from the world currency trade markets to where the farmer is making an agreement to sell their produce or where the prostitute is making a deal to sell her body or where a child labor slave is willing to accept money to feed the family uh, to where the executive is able to sit around his table at home with his family in peace everywhere at all times the value of money is established and varies according to the acceptable nature and context within the existing agreements between man and man and within that construct what plays the biggest roles now in the world is the corporation the corporation being that which has unified resources into a production line, a supply line that is sufficient to supply all people in the world and obviously it was motivated by an interesting thing money. This money motivating uh, is showing to what extent money has become the 
absolute faith, the absolute belief of the current human specimen that is walking the earth. And this has culminated in levels of atrocity that is incredible because it is allowed purely because money wills it for no other reason. If you can virtually say it's like God wills it. And man has made money the scapegoat of man's evil and call money the root of all evil when it is actually man that is the root of all evil. And with this in mind, with understanding the broader picture of the problems the world face, and no matter how you keep on moving the segments or the currencies or the values of the unions or the unities that is established or the corporations in this world, it doesn't change the fact that there is a problem in the world of magnitude as there has never been before. And within this context, a new foundation is required, a new understanding, something that will inevitably come and will be managed by money through revolution, that will rather use evolution to bring about a change within the social fabric that allows and recognizes life as the basis of the living on earth and not money as the basis of living on earth. So, within the context of equal money for dummies, one must understand that the simplicity of the solution is astounding. Yet, those with money will try and rebuke it and protest, claiming that the only thing that makes men move is motivation through profit and money. That would be like saying that the only thing that moves men is greed, because that's what it implies. Yet, if you have a look at it, what moves men has been survival. The inherent goodness of man, the goodwill of man has never really been tested in this world because that opportunity has never arised or arisen where all men were equal, where each man was the neighbor, uh, uh, was his neighbor's best friend. His, each man loved his neighbor as equal, where each were giving to another as they would like to receive. The whole principle that forms the foundation of some of the greatest religions on the on earth has never been put into practical application. Equal money, in fact, is the practical application of the teachings of Jesus, which forms a foundation uh, substance within most religions in the world, uh, as far as Islam, Christianity, and all of, offshoots of Christianity and spirituality implies and it also formed the foundation of Taoism as Lao Tzu presented the Tao Te Ching. So in terms of spiritual virtue equal money walks hand in hand with the greatest and the most prolific that has ever walked the earth and is therefore most certainly the answer that is using a physical object to unify a world that is lost in its fear of each other bringing about the obvious solution that will bring peace and freedom and love which is love thy neighbor as thyself and the obvious um, way to bring about a world of dignity 
where life can be glorified, which is gift to another what you like to receive. I mean, to base laws, which is achieved in one way, one swoop, with equal money. But then let's understand, obviously, that we do not say that what has been before was without meaning, because the whole way that mankind developed up to now has made it possible that equal money can exist. We now have the, the technology with the, within which we can actually establish such a system. Obviously, there is a lot of uh, moral issues around the technology and the way it's been constructed that must be addressed. Moral issues in terms of the making of equipment in ways that it is not trustworthy and... Uh, um, effective because it was made within a money system that was forever at a loss and needed to create new money the whole time and therefore everything had to break so that you could make more money so it was like a polarity system that was from break to make the whole time and therefore no one could ever stop and actually appreciate life because you had to make more money, otherwise you run out of money, there's not enough, you can't pay the people, you can't support the business, you can't support the family. It's a massive problem, a monster created through the deliberate incorporation of a premeditated redundancy within equipment in the world. Obviously, these concepts will be redefined to be trustworthy within an equal money system.